What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to install the Orphic Atlantic V4s. For the initial installation you want to make sure you are near your router. You also want to make sure that your antenna is installed properly and secure. You also want to make sure all the connections here to your power supply are connected correctly and tight. Once all that's done, then you want to go ahead and plug it in for power. Okay, once you power on the light, you are going to notice it's going to blink twice and then it's going to turn on to 80%. Uh, be very careful not to be staring directly at the light uh, once you turn it on because it's very uh, powerful. Next step, you want to go ahead and have your gateway ready. Plug in the uh, power supply to it and the ethernet cable that's going to be connected to your router. Then go ahead and power up your gateway and also connect the ethernet cable to your router now you're going to notice two blinking lights one's going to be an orange blinking light at the top and then a blinking red light at the bottom it is going to take approximately one to two minutes we are looking for a solid orange light at the top with a blinking red light at the bottom once the orange light at the top is solid, then at that point, uh, we know we can go to the next step. In the meanwhile, you can also download the application. Make sure you download the correct application. It has to be the Atlantic V4 Gateway 2. It is really important that you download the correct application if you're using this type of gateway. Now you're also going to need the gateway ID that's going to be located in the back of the gateway and you're going to need that to enter it into the application as well. As you guys can see we have a solid orange light so that means we can go ahead and proceed uh, to the next step. Once you download the application, go ahead and open the application click on settings then at the top left corner you're going to click on gateway it's going to ask you for your gateway ID press on the plus sign and you enter your gateway ID here remember it's going to be located in the back of your gateway once you enter your gateway ID you press OK it's going to be in this area all in blue you're going to go back and hit search at the top left hand corner. Once you hit search, it's going to bring up your light. As you can see in this case, I already have named my light under Reef Glow. You can click on it and there you can name it just in case you have several lights so that way you know which light is which. So at this point, you have successfully connected your lights. You can go ahead and start exploring them. If you hit on quick, this is for a quick setting. If we go back and hit on programs, Orphic provides you with several programs right out of the box for you to be successful. If we go back, you can see here in the graphs, uh, you can see the percentage and the time for each channel. Now in cases where the lights are going to be installed far away from the router and it's impossible to connect it via the ethernet cable, all you have to do is go ahead and connect the lights wirelessly. For this, all you have to do is go ahead and click on settings, click on the top right hand corner where it says set Wi-Fi, give it a couple of seconds, it's going to search for your network. Once the networks come up, go ahead and choose the correct network. It's going to take you here and here you're going to enter your router's password. Make sure you enter the correct password and press OK. 
Once you press OK, you have successfully connected your lights wirelessly. And now all you have to do is just go ahead and disconnect the Ethernet cable uh, from the gateway. Now most of the times you should be set and ready to go to use your lights. In case you're installing your lights in a room in your house where your Wi-Fi signal is really poor. For example, a basement or you're really installing it really far where there's a lot of walls in between your router and your light. Then you're going to need one of these guys here. This is a repeater and this is pretty much going to enhance the Wi-Fi signal in the room you're going to be installing your lights. Okay, so in case you were not successful connecting your lights wirelessly or it's impossible to connect it through the Ethernet cable, I'm going to show you guys how to install them using a repeater. So this guy, you have to link it to your router. It would come with its own set of instructions on how to link it to your router. Of course, make sure you first have to follow the initial installation where you connect your gateway to your router first. Then you have to link your repeater to your router. Once that's done, now you can go ahead and connect your gateway directly to the repeater via the Ethernet cable. And it's gonna be the same process. We're just gonna be waiting for a solid orange light and a blinking red light at the bottom. Once the or solid orange light is at the top, then that's giving us the indication that you're ready to uh, start controlling your lights. Now, I would say almost about 100% of the time you should be good with the initial installation where you just connected wirelessly or via the ethernet cable. I'm just showing you guys this step just in case, um, like I said, you have poor Wi-Fi connection in the room where you're gonna be installing your light. For example, your basement or it's too far from the router where there's a lot of walls in between, then this is the type of installation you're going to have to do in case you don't have good connection. Okay, so we have a solid orange light, which means we have successfully connected the lights using the repeater. Now in the event you need to change your gateway or the light needs to be reset, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to reset your light. Now all you have to do is connect your lights on and off four times. You're gonna see the light blink twice and it's gonna turn on and stay at 80%. And this is the easiest way to reset your light. Hope the video has been helpful. I thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe and keep briefing simple.